you guys, your age group as well. So this is an awesome school, and we all know Sensei Jerry is awesome, but I'm here to introduce you to my boss, okay? His name is Assemblyman Joe DiStefano, and he has a special proclamation um, resolution that we passed in New York State, and he's going to explain it. And he's going to present it to Sensei Jerry. So how about we give a right. round of applause? All right, guys, up to your feet. All right, go to attention stance. Let's bow to our guest. Courtesy bow. Bow shows. Good. Turn face your family members because they're sitting there. Courtesy bow to your family members. And let's give the family members a big hand for bringing you here. So, as my chief of staff said, my name is Joe DeStefano. I'm the assemblyman in the third assembly district, who's just a little bit south of here. And last month in the state assembly, we pre we presented the state with a um, an idea that we want to make April, which was last month, anti-bullying month in the state of New York. This resolution that I prepared with my staff was to recognize the fact that it's not okay to bully and it's not okay to be bullied. So we wanted to make sure that you understand that if you're a bully, you report it to somebody. If you're in school, you report it to your teachers. You want to make sure that you're taking care of school. That is your safe place. School is supposed to be your safe place. So uh, what I'm here to do tonight is to give Sensei Jerry, this resolution that, to, to recognize that April in the state of New York is anti-bullying month, and you guys should all be proud of what you're doing to recognize the fact that you're trying to protect yourselves in case of that situation arises. So give yourselves a big round of applause for doing that. And thank you for being awesome. So, Jerry, thank you. Thank you for teaching these kids. And... <laughs> I want to recognize the parents as well. Um, I'm proud. Uh, Anthony and I go way back into the fire department when he belonged to Medford, as I still do. And uh, I, was, I hope that when things were back in the day when I was going to school, that this would be available. And unfortunately for me, it wasn't. But it's a lot of things that we learned through the years of going to school on what it is you need to do to protect yourself. And thank you for recognizing that you need to prepare your kids for that situation in case it ever arises. So thank you for doing what you do to protect your own children. And, and that's something we all need and we all can learn from. So thank you for doing that. So thank, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, yeah, guys. Okay, Every, everybody sit down before we start. Um, I'd like to address the parents also. 90% uh, of my business here is because parents call because their children are being bullied. So it is a big problem. Um, not only here in our community, throughout, throughout the country. Um, for, for the uh, parents that aren't uh, members of East Coast Black Belt Academy, I welcome you. Um, I, I kind of get disappointed because I, I got a lot of calls this week um, on the program, and the only way to really help with this bullying situation is to be proactive. And I'm going to go through some of the principles that I teach the children to, to kind of give them the tools. Um, I, I always explain it to them, you know, martial arts is like a band-aid. I've been doing martial arts over 45 years. Um, I achieved an eighth degree black belt. But that doesn't mean I could go out there and take on the world. But it does give me a little bit of an advantage. You know, I know about awareness. I know how to stay out of certain situations. And, if I was confronted, I, I have confidence in my ability that I could kind of protect myself. Um, so these principles are really simple. I call them the ABCs of bullying. And what I try to teach the children is um, with, with each component, there are different principles that they could apply. I'm also going to hand out um, a testimonial that I was given by a parent that I've, I've, I've been here since 1990. I've taught thousands of students, not only in the dojo here, but through Suffolk County Police Athletic League as well. And I've taught internationally. Um, wh whether a child is in school in the United States or in Europe, uh, there, there's problems that arise. And you know, I'm sure we all have our stories as young children about being bullied as well. So um, if you have any questions as we go along, please feel free to join in. But these are some of the lessons we teach uh, each and every day. I want to thank uh, Sensei Scott Hotel for coming down assistant today, and Sensei Lou de Blasi 
And this is uh, Senpai Daniel, Daniel Cohen. So uh, they're going to assist with today's class. Uh, Sensei Wu has been a student with me. Uh, he came in the door at 67 years old. He's 85 years old. And uh, I try to teach martial arts uh, not as a sport. In a sport, uh, in sport karate, you, you have a referee. When your children go to school, when they walk out the door, there's no referee to break up the fight. So they need the skills to be able to defend themselves, and it's not just the kicking and punching. Okay? So we're going to get started. Yes, Sterling. Like, the, some people, like, like a game called Baldi, he doesn't even have none here. Like some people that came here, like some people. All right, concentrate on, on what we're going to talk about. He doesn't have no hair. Okay. Okay. All right, so if you're not a member of East Coast Blackfield Academy, just follow along. It's very simple. All right, I'm not going to use any Japanese words today. All right, so some of the people here may not know them. So I'm going to ask you guys to stand up. Okay. Okay, nice and strong. And go to attention stance. All right, and bow, and the bow in karate shows respect. Respect. And who are you respecting? Everyone. Everyone. Every, yourself. Yourself. Yeah. When, when we respect yeah. ourselves, then we can respect everybody. That's really important. And that's important later on when you guys get a little bit older to make good decisions. All right? So, hands behind the back. Just repeat what I say as best you can and try to show a lot of spirit. A lot of energy. Ready? Number one. I must. I must. Develop myself. In a positive manner. And avoid anything that would reduce my mental growth or physical health. Okay, that kind of talks about uh, having a strong mind and a strong body. All right? Acting in a certain way. Having good manners. Being respectful. Number two. I must. Develop, develop. self-discipline self -discipline. In, order in order to bring out the best, the best. In, myself in myself and others. others. Self-discipline is doing things on your own without being told. Right? And your self-discipline affects other people. These are some of the creeds that we say before each and every class. Last one, best one, I must, I must. Use. use common sense. Common before self-defense, self and, and never be abusive, be abusive. or offensive. Or offensive. Right, feet together, attention stands, and bow. Okay, give yourself a hand, good job. Take a seat. All right, common sense before self-defense, all right, means that we have to use our head before we use our hands. If we're in a, in a confrontation, if we're uh, maybe going to be in a fight with somebody, all right? So... Martial arts is like a band-aid, right? I tell you guys this all the time. How many of you have band-aids at home, right? Your parents have band-aids at home in case you get what? Hurt. In case you get cut, right? But who wants to get, who wants to use a band-aid every day? Sterling, you do? I don't think you do, right? So that's what martial arts is. It's a tool to help you deal with certain things that come into your life. Right? Maybe you want to have more confidence. Right? Confidence is believing in yourself. Maybe you want to have more self-discipline. Self-discipline, like I said, is doing things on your own without being told. You clean your rooms up at home, how are your parents going to feel? Yeah, they're going to feel good. And if you don't clean it, they're going to discipline you. They're going to tell you. All right? So your self-discipline could work to your advantage. Okay? Common sense before self-defense, there's many different ways to protect ourselves without punching and kicking, all right? A simple way to understand that is if you go shopping with your parents and they go to pay for something and you go up to the register with them but you walk away, is that protecting yourself? No. 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 Okay, see, you don't have to be in a fight with anybody to protect yourself, all right? As you get older, you may be approached to try cigarettes or try drugs. Right? Over the years, plenty of my students have been approached to try these different things. You guys know that it's bad. But do you have the confidence to say no? 
Yeah. Everybody here just say no to drugs? No. You ever hear? No. Okay. And you can, you can just, you know, you could say that, yes, just say no to drugs. But when somebody approaches you and puts pressure on you, or maybe two or three people, and they get you thinking a certain way, all right, mm, you may give in if you don't have that confidence. So confidence is so important. Okay, the ABCs of bullying, all right? You guys have heard it. Anybody know it? What is A? Uh, a. A is what? A. Anybody know? A. Awareness. Awareness. All right, so repeat after me. A. 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 Repeat it. See, in the karate school, you could be loud. At home, you may have to be quiet. So here, nice and loud. A. A. Awareness. Awareness. Okay, what is awareness? This is the first step in preventing you from being bullied. Okay, what is awareness? Leo. Awareness is protecting yourself from being bullied. Okay, but what is awareness? What, what happens every morning and every night? You Does anybody up? know what happens? What happens every morning, Michael? Um, you wake up and when nighttime, you fall asleep. Okay, but what comes up in the morning? Oh, uh, um, well, 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 the earth spins. I, spins. I know the earth spins, Michael, but what comes up in the morning and goes down at night? Um, the, the sun. sun. The sun. But you guys are aware of that, right? But it you, doesn't. But you don't have to see it. There. Okay? Well, we can say it, right? But you may not, you don't have to know that it's going to be light during the day and dark during the night. You could be in a room and still know that. But awareness is simply being aware of your surroundings and the importance of your surroundings, where you are at that moment. All right? Today, even parents sometimes are not aware of where they are. Why? Because they're looking at something as they're doing things. All right? And that's the way our society is going today. So I'm going to show you a simple drill for awareness. Okay. Up to your feet. Quick, let's go. Now pay attention. Right now, look at that camera. Do not walk by that camera. Okay? This is what I want you to do. I want you to walk in any direction that you want on the mat without bumping into somebody. That's easy. Okay? That's easy. Put your hands in front of you. Don't walk with your hands behind your back. And start walking. Any direction that you want. Any direction that you want. We're going next. Don't bump into anybody. You can walk a little faster. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Okay, stop. Anybody bump into anybody? Okay, give some hands. Good job. Okay. Come in here real quick without bumping into anybody. Come in here. Okay, pay attention to what we're going to do now, right? So you are aware so you didn't bump into anybody. Okay. Now, close your eyes. Right? And when I say run at full speed, I want you to run in any direction that you want. Keep your eyes closed. Close your eyes. No, no, no. Wait, wait, till you hear me, wait till you hear me say run. You ready? Why are you looking at me? I hate my eyes. What would happen if I told you to run? You guys would crash into one another. Then you know who I would have chasing me? All your parents. All right, take a seat, take a seat. Michael, you can open your eyes. Okay, so you see the importance of awareness. Okay, aware of your surroundings. Now, how do boys and girls get in trouble? I right. don't listen. Okay, how many of you have been bullied? Who's been bullied? Never. Okay, now, this is important. What is a bully? All right, let's say, since it's kind of confusing, let's say I'm walking down the hallway. And I'm walking, I'm not aware, and I bump into somebody. I just bump into you. I, I just bump into you, all right? But he calls me stupid. Oh, he, he says, what are you doing, stupid? Right? Is that bullying? Yes. Yeah. It is? Okay, it's, it's not nice, all right? It's not nice 
Okay? He's kind of being mean. But now, another time, I walk in the hallway, and he doesn't bump into me. I don't bump into him. We just walk past one another. And then we see each other again, right? And then we don't bump into each other again. Is he still the bully? No. Why? Because he's not crashing on you only did it once. You only did it once. Okay? It's not repetitive, meaning he's not doing it. He bumps into me, calls me stupid. The next day he sees me, bumps into me, calls me stupid again. Or maybe he sees me eating lunch and he goes, oh, there's the stupid guy that keeps bumping into me. <laughs> right? Then he gets his friends to call me stupid. <laughs> Right? Then maybe he pushes me. Is he a bully then? Yes. Yeah, because it's repetitive. It's over and over and over and over again. That's real important. So if, I, if I'm aware, if I'm aware that this is happening, okay, and this is really important, if I'm aware that this is happening to me, now think about this. Let's make believe I'm the bully. Okay? Now, every day, I'm a bully, because I'm going to bully you every day. Okay? So, here we go. Monday comes. All right? I don't like your glasses. I don't like that little bow in your hair. What? I don't like the Ghostbuster shirt. I don't like the color of your eyes. I don't like the color of your skin. I don't like the way your sneakers look. I don't like the way that t-shirt looks. I don't like that little bracelet you're wearing. Every day I do that to you. What? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. How are you going to feel? Sad. Yeah, you're going to feel sad. All right? How else would you feel? A bug. Bad. Yeah, you're going to feel bad, right? How else? What are the feelings that we have? Um, bad. Mad. Okay. Right. Annoyed. Annoyed. Frustrated. Frustrated. Upset, right? Think about that. Think about if that happens every day, the first hour you get into school, what? somebody bullies you, okay? Think about that. Are you going to just forget about it, or are you going to think about it all day? Or are you going to think about it all night? Okay? If you're feeling frustrated, if you're feeling upset, if you're feeling sad, that may take time away from you thinking about the things you need to think about, like studying, paying attention in school, behaving correctly. Right? How many of you may want to hit the bully? Has, has anybody ever bullied you where you want to hit them? No, I haven't. Okay. Nobody bullies Okay, now is that the right thing to do? No. 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 See, you know that. But when you're frustrated, when you're mad, when you're upset, when you feel humiliated, this is when you may do that. That's why boys and girls fight. So if you have confidence in yourself, and the one thing you have to understand that is if you're being bullied, it's not you. It's not you. It's the person doing it to you. In martial arts, what's the first thing we do when we come on that deck? What's the first thing we do, Vanessa? Bow. We bow. The bow is a reminder to respect ourselves. You're showing respect to the dojo. You're showing respect to your classmates. But it's a reminder to respect ourselves so we can show respect in the world. We can show people that we're the better people by being respectful, by being kind to other people. Right? Not upsetting people, trying to help people. Right? Remember, I'm the bully. I don't like the way you look. I don't like that green, I don't like butterflies on your pants. I don't like that ghost. Remember, I'm the mean person. But what if, what if I said to you, um, you got a pretty smile, right? What's the matter? That sound funny? Somebody giving you a compliment? How would you feel if somebody said, hey, that's a cool shirt, right? I like those glasses. How do you feel then? Yeah, you feel happy. But people don't do that enough. Yes, Michael. I feel like like everything's going in my way. And I'm I mean, everything's going 
in my way. No, I. Everything's no. going your way when people compliment yeah. you. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm yeah, sorry. you want you want things going your way, okay? But when somebody bullies you, Leo, Leo, you you really should pay attention here. All right, when somebody bullies you, it doesn't go your way if you don't have the tools. Now, just like when I teach self-defense to, to an adult or a child, it may not work the first time because you need a skill, all right? When you first throw a punch, it may be weak. It may be slow, but over time, what happens, that punch gets faster, stronger, stronger, stronger. Right? So that you have the confidence that you know that you don't want to hit somebody. A is what? What is A again? Awareness. 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 What was B? Boundary. boundary. Very good. What does a boundary mean? Leo? Boundary means Okay, what is a boundary? A boundary is a limit. It's a limit. Okay, we're going to talk about that as well. Space. Space, yeah. Right? Repeat after me. Spatial awareness. Spatial awareness. What does that mean? Here's the book. Okay, I'm walking down the hallway. All right? Did I create space? Yes. Yes. Am I safe? Yes. Here's the book. Am I safe? No. No. You're dead. No. Okay. And what happens when I find myself in that position? Um, stop, talk, and walk. Yes. Okay. What if he stops me? Dead. Okay. <laughs> Repeat after me. A. A. Awareness. Awareness. Remember, nice and loud. A. A. Awareness. Awareness. B. B. Boundary. Boundary. Okay, here we go. The boundary is the space between you and somebody that wants to hurt you. Now, bullying doesn't mean that he has to put his hands on me. He could just call me names, right? And that sometimes the names you call people hurt more than a punch or a kick. Right? But let's talk about, has anybody ever been bullied where somebody put their hands on you? Okay, put your hands down. Put your hands down. Okay. So, if you're a karate student, what's one of the words I use a lot every single class? Is one word I hammer at you guys all the time. Focus. Very good, Tommy. Focus. Focus is your ability to concentrate on one thing at one time. If I'm talking to you and you're looking out the window, that means I may be teaching you something and something happens to you in school and you're like, oh, uh, Sensei showed me something, but I forgot. You're here, right, if you learn martial arts, to your advantage. It's your advantage when you're aware that that person's a bully sitting on the bus. Am I going to sit next to that person on no, the bus? No. no. I'm going to make sure that I'm away from that person, that there's a separation. How does the bully grab me? How does the bully grab control of me? Um, Think about this. Right? If I know I have a bully in front of me, I have to be focused. Because once that hand comes out to grab, I need to clear it to create space. You do not want anybody putting your hands, their hands on you. Okay? A few weeks ago, we had a boy in the class that got pushed. That got pushed. Right? The push didn't hurt. But when he fell back and he hit his head, that hurt. Okay? So, awareness, boundaries, these are tools. Okay? If, if somebody grabbed me, all right, and say I did a takedown, okay, he could get up. Why? Because he knows how to fall. 
If you notice, he slapped the ground. If he didn't know how to fall, maybe he breaks his wrist. Maybe he hurts his elbow. Maybe he dislocates his shoulder. Maybe he hits his head. He could get back up because he knows how to fall. Right? So that's an advantage, right, when we learn break falls in class. Even if you slip down the street, if you know how to break fall, you can protect yourself. A is what? I can't hear you. A is what? B is what? Boundaries. Boundaries. Boundaries also, somebody said, oh, did you say it? Limit? A limit. It's a limit. How long are you going to let somebody push you around? How long are you going to let somebody control you by trying to make you feel bad? You have to have a limit. You have to... You have to know when to cut it. Now, sometimes we get into trouble because we pick the wrong friends. Could that happen? All right? How many of you have had friends that gave you a hard time and didn't make you feel good? Okay? Yeah, that could happen. All right? So think about this. What if, what if you had a friend, Michael Cook, just go, you know. What if you had a friend that told you you were no good? What if you had a friend that said you're ugly? What if you had a friend that says you're not good at anything? What would you do with a friend like that? What would you do with a friend like that? Not be his friend. But do we tell ourselves sometimes, I'm not pretty, I'm not good. Do we ever do that to ourselves? No. Uh, no? Yeah, okay. All right? Sometimes, okay. We should never do that. We should never doubt ourselves. Okay? So a boundary is this. Everybody stand up for one second. Stand up. Come a little bit closer to me. Come a little bit closer. Put your hands out to the side. Make sure you're not touching anybody. If you all move over, you can yes, move up a little bit more. Daniel, help spread it out. You can come over here. All right. That last line back up. Come on, guys. Back up. Back up. Back up. Okay, Leo, move up closer to me, please. Okay. All right. Here we go. Boundary. I'm the bully. If I take a step to you, what do you do? Touch me. All right, you're not getting this. You're not getting this if you're telling me foot. What do you do? I saw some of you move back. I should say. Okay? That's the boundary. Remember, no, stay where you are. I'm the bully. I come to you. What do you do? Back up. You back up. You have to understand that boundary. Now, that boundary doesn't mean the bully is right in front of you. Doesn't mean the bully's right in front of you. You could notice, if you're aware, maybe the bully on the playground. Take a seat. Bully on the playground. Bully at the bus stop. Where else could a bully be? At class. In your class. Most of the bullying that goes on, goes on right behind your teacher's back. Okay? Right behind your teacher's back. Where else? In gymnastics. A park. A park. Soccer. Where? Soccer. But soccer and soccer. Okay. When, when you're walking down the sidewalk. When you're walking down Baseball. the sidewalk? On the bus. On the bus. Mm -hmm. Baseball. Baseball. Anywhere. Could happen anywhere. Right. Could happen anywhere. Now, you guys come to karate. Honesty, integrity, humility, self-control, perseverance, indomitable spirit. Uh -huh. Right? We talk about this all the time. Can you be a bully? No. No? no. Yes. Yes, you can. Right? Because you have to control your actions. Right? You can't get caught up with other boys and girls. You have to control what comes out of your mouth, how you talk to other people. Right? You have to be a leader, not a follower. So, yes, you can be a bully. 
right? A is what? Awareness. B is? Boundaries. Boundaries. Okay, what is C? Anybody know besides Ashton? Communication. Communication. How did you know that? Because I was in this class before. You were in this class before. Okay. Communication. Communication. What is communication? Put your hands up if you know what communication is. Talking. Talking. I'm communicating to you right now. Yeah. All right. I'm trying to teach you about bullying. And what do I say every class? What's that word, Tommy? Focus? focus. If you lose focus, you may miss something. Okay, communication means to talk. Now, I always say children can never hear this enough. Right? Do you talk to the bully? No. When the bully talks to you or threatens you, do you talk to that bully? No. No. Okay. How many times in class do you hear me say, yes, you do. You better talk to that bully. All right? Example. The bully goes to push me. Do I let the bully push, push me? All right? Do I let the bully push me? No. Or do I say, hey, stop. Don't touch me. Don't put your hands on me. All right? Do I show some courage? Do I show some confidence? My legs may be shaking because I may be afraid of him. But I have to show that confidence. You know why? Because if I don't, if he pushes me, all right, and I do this, what's he going to do the next day when he sees me? He's going to do the same thing because he has control. He has control. In karate or any martial art, it's important to strengthen your position. Right? So if I'm standing like this, do I look strong? Yes. If I'm standing like this, no, no you can see a difference. I have to have a strong stance. All right? So I have to have a strong position, not only with my body, but with my mind. I'm not going to let somebody talk to me like that. I'm not going to let somebody put their hands on me like that. So you have to have the courage to be able to stand up to a bully, because if you don't, they're going to continue to do it. Who's been picked on here? Me. Okay. Never Ashton, you've been picked on? Yes. I You're pretty me. big. Who, who, who would pick on you? Um, it was like in first grade. Okay, nobody I picks on you anymore, right? No. Okay. I never so when that person picked on you, what did you do? You told them to stop? Mm -hmm. Did they stop? No. no. Sometimes they won't stop. To yeah. you get stronger. Right? And they may not stop at all. To you communicate. Okay? Hey, if I'm looking out that window, I'm not getting this part. Who do you communicate to? You. You. Me. The most important person you communicate to. A the most important, this is why parents, it's real, I go over this all the time. It's got to sink in. And the reason why I'm having the parents here today is because the car ride home, you know what you guys are going to be talking about? The ABCs. Okay? You have, who's the most important person you would communicate to? Not me. The real sensei. No. Matthew. Your parents. Turn around, look. They got more powers than the sensei. And you have to understand that. Turn back here. Zip it. Turn back here. A is what? B is what? C is what? Good. These are big words, but you got to learn them. Okay, I'm going to tell you a true story. True story. There's a development across the street. There was a boy, Michael, that used to live there. And he used to come here five days a week. This, this boy was awesome. He was getting ready. He was about nine, ten years old. He was getting ready for his junior black belt. 
And I used to do a private lesson with him once a week. A private lesson means I work with one student one-on-one. -on -one. Nobody else in the class. And his mother used to bring him here once a week. And then one week I, I, I realized that he never, he never came in for a private. His mother didn't call me. Then it was two weeks he wasn't here. And then the third week I called the house. And his mother picked up and I said, hi, this is Sensei Jerry. I, I haven't seen you guys. Is everything okay? And the mom said, I'm so glad you called. Michael doesn't want to do karate anymore. And I'm like, why? He's getting ready for his junior black belt. He was one of the best in the class. Right? He didn't want to do karate anymore. That was it. He was done. And his mother told me that he didn't want to play with his friends anymore. What? He was done playing with his friends. And he didn't want to come out of his room anymore. He didn't even want, he had a TV in his room. He didn't even watch TV. And I knew right away something was wrong. Because this boy was great in school, had good grades, he was well behaved, and he was pretty awesome as a martial artist. And I said to his mom, please bring Michael in so I could speak to him. And what I found out by communicating, by talking, like his mother told me there were things wrong, I found out that Michael was being bullied, not by one person, not by two, but by three other boys in his class. And each day he would go to school, he would just feel terrible about himself. He felt worthless. No child, no person, no adult should ever feel that way. And that's why he didn't want to do anything anymore, because these boys, they controlled him. Michael was not in control. He was, just like I asked you, who's the most important person that you communicate to? You're telling me me. You're telling me an adult. No, the most important person is sitting over there. You have to be clear when it comes to being bullied. Because you know what? If you're having a problem and you don't fix it, you'll continue to have it. You can continue to have a problem being bullied even when you're an adult. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bully somebody and have their phone. <laughs> adults. Any, any adults ever been bullied? As, as wow, that's amazing. My mom has never been bullied. This okay. Ha, has any has any adults ever been bullied as an adult? Okay. Not me. Look 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 over here. Pretty confident, but you know what? It happens. That's why you have to be clear on these principles, the A, B, C's. You have to learn how to communicate. Once we found out Michael was having trouble with these three boys, I called up the Longwood Middle School. That's where he was going at the time. And I talked to the principal. The principal's name was Carl Verdi. And Mr. Verdi said, I'm going to bring Michael in, and I'm bringing the three boys in. And he did. And they had a talk, and, and Michael, he was petrified. He, he was very afraid of what was going to happen. But Mr. Verdi knew what he was doing. And all of them became very good friends. Michael continued to come back to the karate school, continued to have good grades. Unfortunately, he moved to Texas. I, but I still remember him. Because that was one of the first times I was really working with a boy that was, that was like, if I had a son, I would want a son like him. And I was working with this boy, and, and to see his whole attitude just change from somebody really happy, somebody really fun, to somebody really sad, it, it hurt me. And I continue to try to tell that story. To, I've told that story all over the United States. I've told that story in Europe. Because it, it, it just goes to show if you communicate, good things can happen. It, if you have a problem, they have to know so they can fix it. Whether they have to go to the school, whether they have to talk to the parents, all right? whatever they have to do, that's what your parents are there for. Turn around, face your parents. 
How many parents want to see their child bullied? Right? How many parents want to see their child happy and successful? Right? It's that simple. It's that simple. So you have to do the things that you need to do in order to make that happen. Sometimes bullying will never go away. But if you understand that it's not you that's the problem, it's the person, right? It may not hurt you as much. But you have to be able to recognize it. It's not a one-time shot of somebody calling you a name. That's not bullying. Somebody maybe even shoving you once. That's not bullying. But over and over and over again, that's bullying. It has to be, re the word is repetitive. Yes? Like, did he have, the boy did that have, did he have glasses? It, uh, look, it, it, it doesn't matter what, what somebody looks like. Look around the room. Everybody is different looking, right? No two people look the same. But the one thing that keeps us all together and safe is respect. See, I don't have to agree with everything he says, but I, I respect him, and I respect his opinions. And that's how you get along with people, right? The other day, who was in class when one of our students broke up a fight? I wish he was here today. One of our, who was in class yesterday? Anybody in class? All right, one of our students broke up a fight, and he came in with a big egg on his head because one of the bullies hit him with an elbow. But he helped his friend. Right? He had the courage to get in there and help him. Right? Sometimes people don't have the courage. They're afraid. And that's OK. Right? If I have if, if Sensei Scotty's being bullied, and I can't, and I'm afraid to really get in there to help him against the other bullies, right? maybe I get somebody else. Maybe I talk to somebody else to try to help him. Right? That's what the ABCs teach us. All right? Before we finish. Guys, listen. Daniel, Daniel's, Daniel's been here since he's how old? Eight years old. Eight years old. He's, he's 13 now. Right? Have you had trouble with bullies? I have not. He's not. Okay, why? Because I'm confident. He's confident. He's confident. He knows. Now, has anybody tried to bully you? No. No? Anybody tried to offer you drugs? No. No? He just, he just stays focused. He, the reason why I have him helping, because he's very focused. Very focused. And like I tell you, if I walk into a room, you're the bully. I walk into the room like this. Would you pick on me? Yes. If you're the bully. Yes. Yes. But if I walked in confident, right, would you pick on me then? No. No. Right? See, you've got to understand this. How, look, at, look at Sensei, how he's standing. Okay? He's staying in that position. That's why when I tell you, stay in the trust stance. Sit with your legs crossed. Don't move around. These are all things that are conditioning our mind. So we can stay strong. Karate doesn't have to be kicking and punching somebody. Okay? It's more about using your head. It's 99% mental. 99. Some people say 90. 99% mental. 1% physical. Okay? The best type of black belt is a black belt that never got into a fight. Can you sit still? Okay. All right. Um, parents, I'm going to have uh, Daniel hand these out. This, this is a, a testimonial from a parent. Okay? Now listen. I do these classes not only for my students, but for the police athletic league. This boy here was seven years old. He used the ABCs of bullying. Okay, this boy here was approached. Uh, parents actually in the stopping shop right here in Coral. Oh. All right. I was next 
His, his mom was checking out, paying at the register. He had to go to the boys' room. He went into the boys' room, and he was aware that there was somebody in the bathroom that really shouldn't have been there. And he was able to use some of these principles to help keep him safe. Okay, so moms and dads are going to read this, and then they're going to talk to you about this. But if you're not focused, if you're not paying attention, if you're not alert, these are things that could hurt you. These are things that could make it easier for someone to control you, to continue to bully you. All right? So you have to learn that you are in control. Question. Well, somebody, there was another man in, in, the, in, the, in the boys' room, and he finished going to the bathroom, but he didn't leave. And what he tried to do is he tried to grab this boy. And you know the stalls in the bathroom? This boy slid under the stall, locked the door, and was standing on the toilet bowl, yelling for his mom. Okay? So, A, he was aware. B, by going underneath that stall, he created a boundary. And C, by screaming at the top of his lungs, he communicated. All right? So, luckily, another man went in there, and they caught the person. So it was pedophile. Okay. okay, there you go. Unfortunately, he had prior convictions. He's, he's out. Yeah. Okay, so... Yes. Every time when I hear sad stories, I I start being like crying. No. Well, so but we can learn by sad stories. Sometimes sad stories have good endings, right? Sometimes they don't, right? So you got to make that decision, right? The choices you make have consequences, right? Awareness, boundary, communication comes to dealing with our friends. Right? It's how we feel. It's how we socialize, meaning how we act amongst our other classmates or students or friends. Right? And our actions right, could get us in trouble or they could help us. Every person is always sitting on a fence. Right? And they could go or fall to any side. It's important to stay balanced, to stay up, to continue to move forward. Right? Some people don't get a second chance. Right? So this, this presentation here today is to help you just plant a seed. Oh, he talked about awareness. Oh, boundaries means to create space. C means to communicate. And hopefully you'll never have to use that. But if you do, it's like that Band-Aid I talked about, all right? The Band-Aid that you don't want to use, okay? All right, before we end, any, pa any questions from any parents? Any parents have any questions? Okay. And, and these are some of the, you know, the lessons that we cover each and every day. So if, is anybody being bullied presently? No? Leo? If you are, you need to pay attention more. You need to focus because you can change that. All right? You can change it. Each of us has the power to do it. Any questions from you guys? Nope. Right. Miss Penny? No? Okay. All right. Up to your feet. Okay. All right. No, no, no. Feet together. Courtesy bow. Bow shows. Hands behind the back. Super loud. A. A. Awareness. Awareness. B. B. Boundary. Boundary. C. C. Communicate. Communicate. Feet together. Attention stands. Bow. Put your hands out this way. Give yourself a hand. I got a gift for each one of you. Just take a seat. Take a seat. special gift to each one of you, all right? Normal paper? 
piece of paper. You guys don't like paper? I love writing. I love writing. I love writing. All right, you ready? I want you. Now listen, this is magic paper. Michael. Magic paper. Don't you like magic? I love magic. Okay, then pay attention. Who doesn't have a piece of paper? Magic. Well, yeah. Right here, sister. Okay, listen, here's the magic paper. I want you to explain to me what this looks like. It looks like a normal paper. Give me, tell me what it looks like. It kind of looks like a normal paper. Can you raise your hand, please? White. It's white. But it looks like a It could be white snow. It could be a polar bear and snow. Okay, but what does this look like? It's rectangular. It's rectangular. Plain, nothing on it. Anybody else? Is it clean? Yes. Yes. Right. Any marks on it? No. Okay, watch this. You ready? This is magic paper. Take your paper and fold it. Okay. Hurry up, do this fast. And fold it again. Sterling, you gotta be aware. And fold it one more time. Come on, Leo, you gotta fold that. Hmm. All right, if you can't fold it, just do this. Watch. Take the paper and go like this. Yeah, just. No, do that, do that. This is magic paper. No, 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 you gotta do this. Watch, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, stand up. Stand up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Stand up. Here, just crinkle your paper like that. There you go. Now watch. Put it on the floor. And now stand on it. Oh, no. Do I do? All right, now. Sit down. Watch this. Quick. Hurry up. Sit down. Look, 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 look. Man, I can't even open my paper. <laughs> this is really. Wow, it's like really stuck together. I did it. All right, here we go. You ready? Explain to me what this looks like now. Raise your hand. Snow and wrinkles. What's it look like? Does it look clean anymore? No. It looks sloppy? Yeah. yeah. It looks like a mess? Yeah. Okay. Does it look scarred? Yes. Okay. Listen. This is what bullying could do to somebody. Okay. Bullying could scar somebody at a young age and then later on as an adult affect them. They'll always think back to that boy or girl that may have or boys or girls that may have held them back from doing something that they want. All right? And again, if you're not paying attention, you're missing the lesson. Okay? So, this is what could happen to somebody inside. Inside their mind, inside their body. Right? They could be afraid when they see something. They could be upset when they hear certain words, or seeing people act a certain way. So, take your paper, make it into a ball, take it home, put it in your room. If you're ever bullied, try to remember what we talked about today. Up to your feet. Let's go. Feet together. Attention stance. Bow. Face your parents. Courtesy bow. Give yourself a hand. And ABC of Class D Smith.